previously on the adventures of Beyond City. I have a friend who's visiting Beyond City, Adam Hughes! Hello, so your zombie friend tells me you have a cloner. I want to make a clone of my dear friend, Adam. Adam. Adam Hughes, the head of the Adamantiums. Wait sir, I must advise you, the machine is not ready to be used yet. Kid, step aside. Finally, vengeance will be ours. I have a job for you. This is the fake Adam Hughes. What? Hey, I'm the real Brainiac Adam. All right, Austin, I'll try to get there before Adam's plane arrives. Change of plans. Hi there, you must be Adam Hughes, right? Um, yeah. Let's head back to the Vion Cinema. All right, Austin should be here any minute now. Any minute. Now here is your mission. We're going to get this imposter arrested. You're going to cause mischief around the city. Darren and I have been waiting for you for three bloody hours. Sizzle and biscuits. Caesar, what are you doing? Oh crap. Hi, Austin. Hi, uh, Adam? Caesar, let's talk real quick. That's not the real Adam. No. Gotcha. Yeah. <gasps> Alan Huntington. I'm calling the police. Drop the phone for step. <gasps> Whoa, what the hell? <coughs> Caesar! <coughs> when he gets there, I want you to burn down the building. Fire! We're all gonna die! <coughs> and when the fake Adam arrives, the cops will arrest him. Who would even do something like this, John? Take a look and see for yourself. Uh, what is this? I didn't do that. I was inside the whole time. You all saw me. Then we will fly out to the UK and I will give you the next plan. I'm telling you the truth. I swear. I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I can't believe Adam would really do all this. Now, we conclude our story. Whoa, that was a close call. Good thing I found a way to keep my Beyond Logic powers intact. Uh, Austin, Austin, wake up! Um, Caesar, I'm already awake. Oh. <laughs> uh oh, Caesar, look! Alan left the TV on? What a dum dum. Um, Austin, look at the news. Breaking news, the one and only Brainiac Adam, otherwise known as Adam Hughes, has visited Beyond City, but was shortly locked up behind bars. Adam was claimed to have allegedly assaulted citizens, committed robbery and committed the act of arson as he had allegedly burned down the Beyond Cinema building. The moment I saw that drone footage, I couldn't believe what my eyes were showing me. Drone footage of the act was coincidentally captured by two men who wished to remain anonymous. Adam is currently taken into custody, where the courts will determine his fate. How did Alan create that fake Adam in the first place? He used my cloning pool. Huh? It wasn't my fault, however. My partner invited the green shirt psycho to our lab and then he proceeded to make the clone, despite my warnings. He knocked out David and I and then created the clone. And now I see what his true intentions are. I knew something was up about the Adam we saw! We gotta tell the police right now! Absolutely not! If anybody found out David and I were working in an underground lab, we'd go to prison. Well, actually, they'd execute David since he's a zombie. You cannot tell anyone that Alan cloned that man from our machine. If you're gonna say what happened, you better lie about where the clone came from. Okay, but only if you help us. I believe I've done enough damage by creating that disgraceful invention. Give me a second. Forgot I had that potion in my pocket. Now here, take this. What's this? It's a clone ray. It also declones. Just say it's Alan's. What? 
I can't plant fake evidence. That's wrong. Well, isn't that what Alan is doing? I call people out for showing hypocrisy. I would be the hypocritical one if I am doing what Alan's doing. Look, you may be a good guy, sir, but sometimes in life, you must fight fire with fire. If Alan is going to set up Adam, then you must set up Alan. I can't afford to be caught, so give that simpleton a taste of his own medicine. Don't you want to save your friend? I... I do. Okay, thanks, Mr... Steinbeck. Pinter Steinbeck. Alright, Austin, let's go. Uck, what happened? Wait, how did you get out of the cage? Help me out. No, you're grounded. For what? Watch the news and see for yourself. <laughs> Please, <laughs> let me go. I promise it wasn't me. You're really gonna lie to my face like that? Who's in that picture, Adam? Who's in the damn picture? I'll lock you up for life! Liam, calm down. Look, Mr. Hughes, what we have here is damning evidence. I suggest you find yourself a good lawyer. Otherwise, you'll remain behind bars. I'm not from here. Do you have a list of lawyers or something? I don't know, Adam. I may be the best lawyer here, but this evidence is very strong. Look. I'm willing to pay for the most expensive lawyer. I didn't do any of these acts, Mr. Burrito. It's Wellington. I need to ask you, Adam, and please be honest with me. Did you actually commit these crimes? No! Look, even if you did, it's my job to defend you, but you're under hot water. I'll pay your temporary bail. That way you can snoop around for evidence. <gasps> Austin, look! The cinema! Caesar, Austin, where have you been? Long story. Is Adam in jail still? Yeah, he is. I can't believe he burned down my cinema. Tom, it wasn't him! It was a clone! Huh? It's true. Some guy with a green shirt cloned Adam and framed him. Look, I know you see Adam as a hero, but the photos and drone footage is accurate. Caesar's telling the truth. It's Alan Huntington! He's in the city. I know Alan. You don't! Huntington? Well, I didn't see him on the news. Well, we saw him in person! Wait a minute, did you say green shirt? Yeah, you saw him too? Yeah, he and Adam tried to rob me earlier, but I taught them a lesson and beat them up. Ha ha. Kid, if Alan really approached you, then you can back me up! Everyone listen up! This kid with the beanie believes me! He was approached by Alan and the fake clone! What? I never said Adam was a clone. I was just confirming that Alan really was here. I was approached by them both. Look, it's a clone, I promise. Oh please, you're really going to lie to everybody just for attention? Or is it perhaps because you idolize Adam so much you're in denial for what he did? So you and your friend are just gonna walk out here and make a scene? You're making yourselves look stupid. Grow up and face reality. Your hero is not a hero. Stop acting like a baby. Listen to me, you idiot! He is not the real Adam! Hey, get your hands off of me. Ah! All right, dude. That's enough! Break it up! Now! You idiot! It's a clone! Listen to yourself. A clone? How badly in denial are you? You're such a liar. It's not a lie, it's a truth! And we're gonna prove it. Tom, please, just listen to us. I'm sorry, Caesar, but I will be suing Adam regardless of what you say. Tom, please! No. Dude! Shut up already, Caesar. Tom, don't you walk away from me! Listen! Listen to me! Caesar, ah! please calm down! Ah! Calm down? Adam is screwed! Calm ah! down! Ah! I've got a plan, but it's going ah! to require me to convince Tom as best as I can. <laughs> Hey, excuse me? You were here during the event, weren't you? Where was Adam when the fire started? Well, he was in the building, but he could have started the fire minutes before going inside. Look, I've met the imposter myself. I don't know how to confirm it, though. Well, I will say this. My daughter is a detective. Maybe you can reach out to her and her friends. But I don't know, man. With all those pictures, you might have a low chance. Who's your daughter? Brooklyn Riley. <gasps> the kid detectives! Of course! Austin! Austin! Tom! I know Adam didn't do all of this. I'm his best friend. I know it's not in his blood to commit crimes. True colors can be revealed beyond anybody, and I still don't know. 
Austin, the drone footage seems very accurate, and the photos are also accurate too. Ah, you may think, but I also know something. Just because they are accurate, it doesn't mean that they are always right. And just because you didn't see Alan on the news, it doesn't mean it's not true. We're going to call in the kid detectives to prove he didn't do it. And we'll clear Adam's name. The kid detectives? Okay, but this is your only chance of defending his name. Hello, Mr. Wellington. I need to lawyer up. Austin! I... I know who can help. Me too, Caesar. The, the kid, kid detectives! detectives. Alright, kid detectives. It seems like there is no trouble today, so we should be good to clock out. I guess not. Hey, long time no see! Brooklyn, Amber, Carter, Otto... Uh, who are you two? I'm Zoe. I'm new here. And I'm Sydney, Carter's little sister. Nice to meet you, Zoe and Sydney. I wish we had time to chat, but there is an emergency that requires the help of the entire Kid Detectives team. Adam Hughes is facing prison for crimes he didn't commit. Adam? Oh no! Who's Adam Hughes? Carter. You don't know who Adam Hughes is? Brainiac Adam? He's the leader of the heroic Adamantians. So, where is he? Adam has been accused of several things. Assaulting citizens, committing robbery, and committing the act of arson by burning down half of a Beyond Cinema building. The news says Adam is currently taken into custody, where the courts will determine his fate. But we know the true villains behind this. It was a fake clone of Adam created by Alan Huntington. Oh no, that's not good. This sounds like a setup. Caesar and I tried to convince them, but they wouldn't listen. Not even Tom, who's going to sue him and get him locked up. I need all kids on deck. We're on it. I'll also keep an eye out for additional evidence with Caesar. Don't worry, guys. We will solve this case. Awesome. I knew we could count on you. Good luck. The KDC can take us to the scene of the crime super fast. Good idea, Zoe. To the Kid Detectives Cruiser. Kid Detectives, go! Please try to do everything you can, Mr. Wellington. I don't want to go to prison. Um, actually, Adam, I have some bad news. I checked your bank account, and it turns out that you can't actually afford my service. What? My services cost $1,250 an hour, and you only have a total of £4,073.15, which calculates to $5,000 US dollars. So I don't think I can help you, nor bail you out. But you're supposed to be my lawyer! Yeah, well, here's the worst part. The person suing you, Tom Doe, he actually could afford me, so I decided to take his side. You turn it against me? You traitor! I'm sorry, Adam, but Tom is a good friend of mine. You kind of deserve what you have coming at you. You can't do this to me! Okay, sir. Visiting time is over. Goodbye, Adam. No! No! <laughs> Adam Hughes, you have two more visitors. Adam! <laughs> Austin! It's really you! I'm sorry, dude. There was a complete misunderstanding! Austin, you have to get me out of here! Don't worry, we got a group of kids solving the case. Who are you? I'm Caesar. great to meet you. The real you. Uh, likewise, wait, did you say a group of kids? You got little kids trying to solve a court case? Uh, I'm doomed! Caesar. Caesar didn't specify. Look, there's this group called the Beyond City Kid Detectives. They may be young, but they are actually professionals. Trust me! Uh. It's no use, Austin. I'm just gonna give up. Alan won this time. That damn clone of this is far too identical. My lawyer even quit on me. I must accept my loss. I'm just gonna plead guilty. No, Adam, I promise. Just please. I want to be left alone. Oh, no. Austin, this is who Adam Hughes is? The man who claims to be a hero? Well, that's clearly a lie if you're going to give up that easily. Caesar! This is Brainiac Adam? The head of the Adamantiums? The guy who's said to be the hero of this world in the United Kingdom? 
Don't tell me this is all a lie! Caesar, stop it! Let me finish. I may have never heard of you, but when Austin introduced me to your name, I at least knew that people look up to you. People idolize you. So if you give up, you're not only letting those people down, but yourself included. I'm in a cell. I can't leave and solve this myself. You're missing an important aspect of the situation. Having hope. Trust me, I know what it's like to face defamation of character. People will try anything to make me look bad. Rumors, fake evidence, spreading lies about me. But do you see me giving up? No, because while people may slander your name, you know the accusations aren't true. You know you're innocent, but it is your job to prove it to everybody else. And even if you can't on your own, that's what friends and family are for. And even when evidence may seem too strong to debunk, there is always a loophole, and that loophole can be revealed. Why are other defamed victims locked up? Because they didn't try hard enough to find that loophole. Is that the path you wish to pursue and possibly spend the rest of your life in prison? The brainiac Adam I'd expect to meet would be determined enough to save his good name. You are on your final step to never seeing the blue sky again. This is the worst time to give up. Those fourth graders may be little kids, but they are your best chance to get you out of this cell. With the kid detective seeking evidence to your defense, Alan Huntington is no match. But if those detectives are going to save your reputation, you need to step in and do your part. You're the victim. It's your job to defend your name, your title, your reputation. So let me ask you one more time, Adam Hughes, are you ready to give up? You know what? No. You are right, kid. Alan has never stood a chance against me. There's no reason why this should be his first time. I'm unstoppable for him. Who's unstoppable? Me. And what's your name? Adam Hughes. And who's Adam Hughes? Brainiac Adam. Who's Brainiac Adam? I'm Brainiac Adam. Louder! I'm Brainiac Adam! From the top of your lungs! I'm Brainiac Adam! Hey! Shut the <laughs> hell up! Sorry! That's the motivation I expected to see. Determined and strong. Hang in there, big guy. We're gonna get you out of here. That's the spark I needed. But I still need a new lawyer. Leave it to me, Adam. I already know the perfect lawyer, Mr. Wellington. But he just quits on me! Darn! But don't worry, I know another amazing lawyer who can help. Okay, I'll meet up with the kid detectives. You get the lawyer set up and meet us at the HQ afterwards. Thank you, guys. No problem. The things you said sounded mean, but yet you inspired him to stay strong. How? Constructive criticism is the art of improvement. It reawakes you of the power you forgot you had. Adam just needed to be re-sparked. Alright, let's go. <laughs>